All right, YouTube, welcome back to another video. This is part two. Um, we're still at the car show, but now we're gonna ask different cars on it. As you can see, we have the Ferrari right here. It's just crazy exotic car, but we're gonna ask them, what's the biggest sacrifice they had to make to become, well, to get to where they're at right now? So question is, what's your biggest sacrifice you had to make to get to where, to get to where you're at today? All right, let's go. All right, man, today we're here with? Alex Santi. All right, Alex, what you do for work? I'm a Forex trader. Forex trader. How yeah. long have you been doing that for? Uh, five years now. Five years, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So next question is, um, what's one thing that changed your life financially? Financially, um, just, you know, put, putting it in work. Obviously, like, um, I feel like, you know, a lot of people don't put in the time into something, right? They, they always try to do, like, different things right like they always try to do like different businesses or different five things at a time i put my my heart and soul into like trading and then that's what made me financially stable you know what i'm saying all right so my next question is what is the biggest sacrifice you had to make to get to where you at today quit my nine to five that's the biggest sacrifice let go of that stability once i let go of that stability it was a scary jump because you know you're you're out there into the world and you don't know what's going to happen to you but um it's a necessary Sure, jump sure. because it puts you in that fight uh, fr fight or flight risk you know type of thing and, and and you have to do it you have to make money yeah, yeah. i give all y'all yeah, yeah. Exactly. Nah, for sure man thank you so much for this yeah, bro no All right, today we're here with Mario. All right, Mario, what do you do for work? Uh, construction rentals, portable toilets. Okay, okay. Now, my next question is, uh, what's the biggest sacrifice you had to make to get to where you're at today? Uh, believe it or not, family, man. Working too many hours and uh, putting in the time to make a successful business. Fortunately, family. Lots of time with the family. Yeah. What's the one thing that changed your life financially? Would you say family as well? I say a, a good support of the family and a lot of hard work, man. A lot of hard work. And, and do what you love and uh, be good at it. Perfect. And don't give up. Okay. It's not how many times you fall down, it's how many times you get up. That's a good quote right there. Yeah, yeah. Now, my next question is, um, in your field, what's the most somebody can make? In what's the what? What's the most amount of money somebody can make in your field? In my field, yeah. my field is worth, not myself, but in my fields, it's a multi-billion dollar uh, uh, industry. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Now, what tips would you have for somebody that want to become financially free in 2023? Listen, follow your heart, be passionate about it, don't give up, and you know what? A lot of hard work doesn't come for free. All right, man. Thank you so much. Hey, man. All right, today we're here with Carla. Hey, Carla, what do you do for work? Um, so we own the world's biggest wrap shop. We have 13 locations around the world that do vehicle customization. So how did you get started in this um, car wrap factory industry? I met my business partner at his birthday and we just clicked and the business has taken off um, exceptionally well. Okay, got you. And how long you guys been doing this? We've been doing this for seven years. Seven years, that's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Now in this industry, right? Yeah. Is there a, a, a cap to how much money that you can make? There's no cap in the automotive world. Oh, you no. hear that? Now, <laughs> next question is... But, wait, okay. there is a cap. If you don't put the work in, you're not going to get the money. Okay? So, like, that's a very generic saying. But, like, you got to hustle hard. You have to put in those hours. We live inside our shops. You know, here we're networking. It's all work. There's not much play involved. For sure. Now, my last question is, what's the biggest um, sacrifice you had to make to get to where you guys are at today? So, me and my business partner, we don't get to see our children that often. So you're sacrificing family time, which is probably, you can't get time back. So um, the most important thing is you make sure you're making time for your kids, uh, your wives, your husbands. And then I think if you have a balance of both, you'll be able to succeed in anything you do. And you heard it here from her. Go ahead and put in your at name, your Instagram name, so everybody can follow you. All right, you. guys, I'm the Raptors godmother. You can tag me. And we are also Raptors.Toronto. We have Raptors Miami. We have Raptors Orlando. Guys, we are worldwide. And our newest location, Raptor, Raptors Cape Town, opening up on March 23rd. Woo. We out of there. What, Billy B? Yes, sir. Billy, what you do for work? Man, I'm a YouTuber. Um, got multiple channels. I also invest in real estate. And I do um, a couple. I, I, I do some forks. Dab, yeah, dip, yeah. dip and nab. Dab, dab, dab. We out here. Where you from again? Where you from? Where you originally from? What's I'm your originally, nationality? I'm Haitian. I'm originally from um, North Miami. Um, 
raised in North Miami, raised so that's where I'm from. That's why that's why you get the lingo like this. You feel me? Feel me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, so what's the one thing that changed your life financially? The one thing that changed my um my financial, yeah, what you like your life, like my one, life. One, one decision you have to make to where it's like that one sets you ahead. Just um, at the, damn, what what? Damn, let me see. Letting go of my pride. Ooh, that's one right Letting go of my pride because the thing that I was doing back then, you know, you know my story. So, um, I had to let go of my pride, bro. Just that's like the big thing. One, after I, after I did that, stuff started changing for me. Sure, for sure, for sure. So, would you say that that's one of the biggest sacrifices you had to make as well, as far as you know, letting go of your past, letting go of your pride, and then step yeah. into a new place? Yeah. Okay. You gotta let go of the past and just jump into that new, that new venture. There's always some. You know, you know, you just gotta take that leap of you faith. You know, Perfect. you know. All right. So this is a you know, question that just came to my mind, right? Okay. So what's the um, for somebody out here, 2023 just start. They want to be financially free in 2023. What advice would you give them right now? Hey, whatever you got planned in your mind right now that you're chasing, that you know you can accomplish, just go for it. Just jump in there. Like I said before, just take that leap of faith and just go and trust me. Stay consistent when you jump. After you, don't put one foot in, put both feet in. Once you take that leap, trust me and stay consistent after that. You never sure. know what's waiting for you on the other side, so yeah. you might as well just dive in and go get it. Yes, sir. <laughs> I mean, appreciate you, no old problem, boy. Man.